this video I want to share with you the 10 best new features available with Windows 10 version 19.3 also known as the April 2019 update. Before we move on, make sure to check the video description for links and other important information such as the release date for this new version and more. Now let's have a closer look at the most interesting features and changes in this release. Although Windows 10 already ships with a light theme, it was never a consistent experience as many elements such as the start menu, action center, taskbar and other parts use a dark color scheme. Starting with version 19.3, Windows 10 is finally introducing a system light theme that brings lighter colors to all the visual elements. As a result, we get in a brand new experience that many will argue it's a little bit similar to the default theme available with Mac OS, but on Windows 10 it looks really good too. As you can see, now we get lighter colors for the start menu, taskbar, and also for action center and other elements. The new light theme is available through the settings app and you can enable it from the personalization settings under the color page and just using the light option. You still have the option to use the dark theme and if you like to have the all experience for a light theme you can use the custom option and just switch the uh, default app mode to light and you will be able to use the all color scheme another way to enable this new light theme is just going to the themes page and selecting the uh, windows light option right here the april 2019 update also introduces preserve storage which is a new feature meant to set aside part of the available storage to use as a temporary storage to reduce problems in starting updates Usually the feature will reserve around 7 GB of storage for updates, temporary files, system cache, and apps, but that will depend on the system. Then when a new update is available, Windows 10 will be able to delete these files automatically to make room to install updates successfully. This new feature will be enabled automatically on devices that come pre-installed with Windows 10 version 19.3 or after performing a clean installation of the operating system. This means that if you're upgrading to this new version of Windows 10, you won't be able to get this feature. Also, Preserve Storage works automatically, and while there's no settings to manage it, there are some ways to enable, disable, and reduce the storage that it reserves. You can check the video description to find links on how to do this. Windows Sandbox is another new feature vendor with version 19.3 designed to safely test untrusted apps in an isolated environment without harming your device. This feature uses hardware virtualization and Microsoft Hypervisor technology to create a lightweight installation of Windows 10 to install and run untrusted programs isolated from your main installation. Sandbox it's only available for Windows 10 Pro users and it requires to enable the feature manually using the, the term Windows features on and off experience. And if your computer supports hardware virtualization. As you can see, I have it enabled right here. So that's why I'm able to, to use it. So if you want to enable it, just check this option, click OK and restart your computer. Once on experience, you can just install any applications like you would on any version of Windows 10. So for example, let's download an app.
Okay, so in this example, we installed Google Chrome and you can use it just like any other application. And once you're done using it, closing the session will delete everything automatically. So every time you start Windows Sandbox, it will start with a new installation. So this feature is more like a tool to test applications rather than installing and using apps that you don't trust on your computer which usually gonna be more beneficial for IT administrators the Windows 10 April 2018 also includes recommended troubleshooting which is a new feature that allows Windows 10 to fix many critical problems on your device automatically for instance the operating system may automatically restore default settings for critical services. It can also adjust settings to match your hardware configuration or make specific changes to operate normally. Critical troubleshooting happens automatically and can be turned off. If you want to view the fixes that Windows 10 applied on your computer, on the uh, troubleshooting page on the settings app, you can click the view history to see all the fixes applied to your computer. Although you can disable this feature, you can use this option right here that will take you to the diagnostic and feedback page where you can change the behavior of this new feature. As a result of having to remember to change your active hours to prevent sudden reboots to apply updates can also be challenging. Starting with version 19.3, Windows 10 includes a new feature that allows the system to adjust the active hours based on your device activities automatically. This option is disabled by default and you have to enable it going to the active hour settings on the windows update settings page and turning on this switch of course if you want to set the active hours manually you can always turn it off and click the change button and adjust your active hours and when there is a new update ready to be applied to your computer windows 10 will obey to these hours to prevent your computer to reboot while you're actively using your device. Although Windows 10 already includes the ability to temporarily disable updates, it was an option only available for users running the professional version of the operating system. However, now with the Windows 10 April 2019 update, the option is also expanding to Windows 10 Home users. The new option is available on the Windows Update settings and it allows Home users to disable updates from the loading and turn automatically for up to 7 days. This is actually my favorite feature coming to the April 2019 update. If you ever wrote an email or a document, you know how convenient it can be to remember the all key codes or having to search online to insert symbols such as the M dash, more than, less than, arrows, etc. into your text or social media post. Starting with the version 19.3, you will find a new updated version of the emoji panel that you can bring up using the Windows key plus semicolon keyboard shortcut that includes a new section to quickly find and insert symbols onto your text. As part of the symbols, you will find sections for punctuations Currency, Geometric, Math, Latin, and Language Symbols. 
In addition, as you pick them, the most common use symbols will appear in the recently used tab, so it will be even easier to find them next time. So let's say if I want to add just like a general punctuation symbol, I can just click right here on this tab and then just find the symbol and enter it into the text. In addition, you will also find an option to add Kmojis, which are just like a face characters that you can enter onto your text. Search is a new to Windows 10, but in previous versions this feature was part of the uh, Cortana experience but now, starting with version 19.3, Cortana and Search are splitting in two separate features. As a result, when you start a search, you will now see a search experience with a new updated landing page, with better spacing to show recent activities and the most recent apps, adding a light theme support and some subtle acrylic effect over the search filters. In addition, in the settings app, you will find a new page to configure all aspects of search including the new enhanced search option that allows you to search the entire system, not just your documents, pictures, and desktop. Of course, you can also exclude folders that you don't want to be searched. Some of them will be included automatically, and you can also access the advanced index settings using this option. And if something's not working correctly, you can click right here to start the troubleshooter to fix search. Another one of the best features you will find on the April 2019 update is the ability to customize the mouse pointer with any color and any size. The new options are available on the cursor and pointer page on the ease of access section. And right here you can use the, the slider to change the size of the pointer. And if you want to change colors, just click this rainbow button. And you can select from one of the suggested colors. But if the color that you like is not available, you can click the pick a custom pointer color to select any color you like. And finally, starting with version 1903, Action Center adds a new slider, as you can see right here, to quickly adjust the brightness on your screen. In the past, Action Center included a button to change brightness, but it was limited to only four levels of brightness. This option allows you to set any brightness levels you like without having to open the settings up. Although this is a more enhancement, more control to adjust the brightness has been one of the most requested features for Windows 10, which is why it made it to this top 10 list. As you can see, I'm using a virtual machine, so 
I can access the slider, but this screenshot from Microsoft shows you how the feature looks like on supported devices. So these are the features I think are the best coming with the Windows 10 version 19.3 or April 2019 update. Let me know what you think about in the comments and if you have another feature that you like and it wasn't mentioned in the video, please make sure to add it in the comment as well. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.